Hello, good afternoon. I am your host as always, Lucha FM, bringing you some Fight Club Pro Local to Global Goodness for TEW 2020. Um, and I just want to say, first of all, thank you to the people who continually watch the videos. Much appreciated. I get more love from the TEW 2020 community um, than I do from the Football Manager community, for instance. So it's very much appreciated. Um, the you know My watch hours on YouTube, um, for people who don't know, watch hours is basically the, the amount of time people who are spending watching your videos, uh, views and etc. are a lot better for the TW 2020 stuff than it is for my Football Manager stuff, even though Football Manager is basically a more popular game. So thank you to the community. It's a small community, but we look out for each other. So thank you to the people who have been watching so far. I really do appreciate it. And if you, if you would like to continue watching i would appreciate that as well um also as well i have started putting well for for weeks now i have started putting wrestling quizzes on their short little quiz videos so if you're bored and you want to watch a quick video for like 50 seconds each one um then have a look on my youtube channel lucha fm and i've got um a load of different little videos um i am using ai software for that so sometimes it's a bit flawed it doesn't give me the right answer or it might repeat the questions so some of the first some of the early videos i've done using the ai software um they might be a bit bad but i am now the last couple of ones i have the last couple of times i've been posting on there i have been double checking before i post them on there to make sure the questions and answers are right and it doesn't repeat the same questions over and over again so yeah, so it's just teething problems with the AI software I'm using, but you just bear with us. But anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the first show um, called Death Machine. So um, I'm thinking maybe as it's called Death Machine, I might end the show with a death match just to change it up a bit. So yeah, so we'll see. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Right, we're back. Um, so basically what I've decided to do is just um instead of just sticking to british uh to get our popularity up elsewhere and for us to advance uh, i've decided to just bring in any anyone any wrestler from around the world that i like the look of um just to boost the women's and men's division so if we just go women's first and uh so i brought in abadan abadan sorry i brought in aja kong who um i'm going to Try to convince to no, she won't. So I'm gonna have her as a road agent instead. Uh, Alex Windsor brought in Alpha Female. I brought in, but she doesn't want to be a wrestler, so she will be a road agent. Uh, I've got Angelina Love. I'm gonna change her alter ego. That's that. Um, so I'm gonna see if she'll come out of retirement. She won't. So I'll just try and have her as a road agent. Um, I think that's it for her. Bobby, no, no, Bobby Tyler's already there. Candice LeRae, I need to, uh, how the hell do I do it? I can't remember. Oh, that was it. Yeah. I need to just give her a photo because I don't like them when they don't have photos. There we go. That'll do. So we've got Candice LeRae here, who actually has wrestled in real life for Fight Club Pro a few times in the past because I have, um, seen alive and then we've got chili the melissa i think is a road agent because she is retired unfortunately i need to see if i can talk to her no she won't she will be she's happy to be a road agent so that will help in some way anyway uh who else brought this what this wrestler in heidi katrina who has good um overall skills Think she'll add to the division. We've brought in Holly Dead, Ivelisse as well. So that'll boost the women's division, give Ginny some competition. Katrina Walters, who is for the winter, that's a TNA persona. I think she's not going to be a wrestler. I think she's only, yeah, she won't be a wrestler, but I will have her as a road agent, which will help. Um, Need to go back up here, don't I? Chris Wolf as well, who is a will probably be a road agent because I can't imagine she wants to come out of retirement. No. Oh, 
she doesn't want to be a road agent either. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of her because she's just going to be. Oh, I can't. I'll get rid of her late afterwards. Um, Maki uh, Makito. So uh, a good addition to the women's division. Madison Eagles as well. Who I think is going to be a road agent. I think. Uh, let's have a look. There you go, road agent. So hopefully she'll help in creating some good matches. Um, I brought this woman's wrestler in, Mary Apache, because she has good overall skills. Uh, I'm going to see if she'll be a road agent as well. Uh, she's still a wrestler, so that's good. So we can still have a Masha Slamovic, uh, Miki, uh, Miki, uh, Miko uh, Satamora. Hoping I can get her as a to wrestle but no she won't ah oh, she won't even do that either uh will she let me take over no so that was pointless so i'm hiring her because she can't wrestle and she can't even be a road agent so i have to get rid of her as well i think no point having her she's not going to do anything um yeah nicole matthews i brought in as well nikki rocks who is probably going to be a road agent by the looks of it, because I don't think she wants to come out of retirement. There you go, road agent. Uh, ODB. She won't come out of retirement either. I was hoping to, when I hired all these, I was hoping to convince them to come out of retirement. Uh, Sue Young. Trisha Dora, who I need to... Give a photo to you got Trisha Dora, you got uh Valkyrie as well. She was a free agent, so I managed to get her in. West Nabushis, who is probably gonna be a road agent. But she's already a road agent anyway. That's fine. Uh and then Zaya Brookside as well. Uh, and then on the men's side, do that male. So two cold Scorpio Abyss. Uh, I think Abyss is no, actually he's going to be a road agent. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to wrestle. Unfortunately, Adam Brooks, Alpha Annoy Junior, who I'm going to team up with, um, Sin Snooker, at some point. I've just got to think about what tag team names to call them. Uh, a kid who obviously NXT fans will know as Axiom, Alan Angels who was in the Dark Order in AW, Alex Kozlov um, who was in Florida Championship Wrestling and maybe NXT when it first started. Um, but yeah, he was pretty good back in the day. Amazing Red. Uh, literally every wrestler you see today has probably copied something from Amazing Red. He's just amazing. Hence the name Amazing Red. Um, Andrew Everett, uh, Barry Griffiths, who was known as Mason Ryan in WWE. I'm going to have him and Rob Terry as a big monster tag team. I uh, just need to get back up here now. Uh, might be a quicker way to do this. There we go. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, why doesn't it never happen? Why does it never work what you want to do? I think I'd have put in BT. Uh, Big T Justice and Blue K and as a tag team, monster tag team, to be honest. Um, Bob Holly, obviously we all know as Hardcore Holly. So I load that up. He is going to be probably a road agent because I don't. Th I think he's retired and he doesn't want to. Doesn't want to come back into wrestling. So. Um, have a look. Bret Hart, but obviously. Bret Hart is going to be a road agent um, and a colour commentator and occasional manager. Um, Calvin Tankman, I brought in a big, big, big guy, big meaty man. We like big meaty men here. Um, Captain Sexy was a recommendation from the scouts ages ago, so I decided to sign him up, see how he gets on. Cara Noir, um, progress regular. Has a unique character. Um, you've got Charlie Dempsey, William Regal's son. So I just need to 
Do that. There you go. He'll be a good addition. He's a very good wrestler. He's got a good character as well. Um, Chris Hero. We all know about Chris Hero. Chris Mordec Mordecai, Mord uh, Modeski, whatever his name is. Obviously, Chris Masters. We know him as, so we'll call him Chris Masters. And then um, I'm going to get rid of him because he's not really adding much to. Oh, I can't get rid of Get rid of him afterwards. Um, Chris Saban. We all know about Chris Saban. Unfortunately, Alex Shelley wasn't available for where I sort of signed him as well. Um, Crazy Sexy Mike and some of the scouts recommended. Uh, Damien Sandow as well. Brought in former, I brought in quite a few former WWE wrestlers like uh, D'Angelo De Niro. Uh, who else? Keep going down here. This one's controversial. David Ben. Uh, Benoit, I'm going to put him in the the Heart Foundation group, whatever they're called. I can't remember what they're called now. He's going to go along, not the Heart Foundation, sorry, the British Empire. He's going to go with Thomas Billington. And actually, I'm thinking of maybe starting a new stable with David uh, Benoit, Thomas Billington, and OJ Hart. Break away from the British Empire. So I'm thinking of doing that at some point soon. Um, El Fantasmo, who actually did wrestle a few times Fight Club Pro back in the day. Eric Redbeard, who we know as Eric Rowan. So we're just going to load that up. Uh, see who else? All right. Haki and Wagner was a scout recommendation, so brought him in. Harlan Bravado, we know as. Adam Chase, but for some reason it won't let me load up the alternative, alternative, alternative um, e uh, ego, whatever they call it, um, gimmick. Oh, sorry, but I've uh, been recording quite a bit today, so I'm all over the place. I do apologise. Uh, Jack Evans I've brought in. Jack Jester I've brought in. Sorry, my nose all bunged up as well. Don't help. James Drake, but unfortunately Zach Gibson wasn't available. Uh, James Mariotto, Little Guido, who will probably be a road agent uh, and manager. And also be a colour commentator and referee as well. So he's a good one to have. I'm just going to see if I can talk him into it. No, he won't do it. Okay. Will he be a road agent though? Yeah, that's fine. The more road agents you have, the better, because some of them will be really good. Um, James Mason, I think I've already talked about. Jigsaw. Obviously, from Shakara and TNA and stuff like that, he's a good high flyer. Um, Jody Fleisch, we all know about him. There's Johnny Storm as well down here. Johnny Moss are brought in. Johnny Storm, uh, I think Johnny Moss is a road agent. Uh, yeah, I think he's. I think he's a road agent for NXT actually in real life. But yeah, Johnny Storm couldn't convince him to come out of retirement, so he's going to be a road agent. Uh, and he can also be a club commentator, which will help as well. And then uh, another one the scouts recommended, Carsten, Bla uh, Carsten Beck. Give us a bit of a European feel. Uh, Kelly Six I brought in as well, who's pretty good on the UK NBC. There you go. Ken Shamrock I've managed to convince... Um, but he is not going to be here as a wrestler, unfortunately, unless I can convince him otherwise. No, so I'm hoping he'll just be a road agent now. And Kelly, sorry, Kenny Doan, who we know as Kenny Dykstra. Keith Cash I've brought in as a road agent because he won't, he didn't want to come out of retirement. It's such a shame, I used to be able to convince half of these in other, in other saves I've done. This one's a big one for me, Levi Moore. So a few years ago, I did a Fight Club Pro diary on the uh, Grey Dog Software forums, and he was my main guy. I had him in the stable, um, pushed him hard. Um, he was in NXT UK for a bit, um, but unfortunately, they obviously when they went, when they dissolved uh, NXT UK, they didn't bring him over to. NXT America, so um, I'm hoping to push him. 
Lewis Howley, who we know as, oh, I can't remember what is it, Eaton Prince in it or something like that. Elton Prince, sorry. So he's going to, I've got him and the other one, um, so they're, so they're going to be a tag team. I can't remember what they're bloody called now. Uh, everybody's screaming at the screen now. Oh, for God's sake, I pressed the wrong thing. Uh, where, how do, where's his profile? Why can't I click on his profile? Seriously, well, usually it lets you click on the profile, doesn't it? Is it that one? Ah, there we go. I'm so stupid. Um, yeah, so Sammy Smoo is pretty deadly. So I will I will put them as their WWE names offline after this. Um, so they'll be called Elton Prince, and I can't remember what the other one's called now. Hit Wilson, innit? Oh, there we go. I can do it now, actually. Elton Prince. There you go. And then with Sammy Smooth, swap him over now. There we go. Uh, Kit Wilson. So that's Kit Wilson. I'm just going to change his name. Wilson. That's that done. Right, so go back up here. Oh, I can't remember how far we went back now. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, right, so just going to come down here now. Uh, no, no, he's already been on here. Uh, Martin Stone, Marty Giannetti, who I think is going to be a road agent because he doesn't want to wrestle anymore. And he can't wrestle anymore because he's got buggered legs, buggered ankles. Matt Cross, who I'm going to have as, oh, I wanted to have him as Son of Havoc, but I've got the gimmick available. So uh, Matt Falco, who was a... Uh, I just like the fact that he had all these belts and he's got pretty good attributes. So Matt Seidel, so that's a, a good wrestler to have uh, against Kenny Williams, for instance. Mike Bucci, who we all know as Nova. Uh, I'm just going to call him Supernova. No, just call him Hollywood Nova. There you go, Hollywood Nova. Super no um Nova was a really good in innovative wrestler in ECW. He would invent a move, like a really cool move, and then wrestlers from WWE and WW, uh, WCW sorry copied him all the time. So he was very innovative for his time back in the day. Um just need to go down here a bit now. Who else? Who else? Mr. Anderson. We all know about him. Nick Dinsmore. I have him as Eugene. Good little character for the kids, even though it's very offensive, the, gim the gimmick itself. Uh, let's keep going down here. Norman Smiley, good road agent. Um, this guy here was decent attributes, so I hired him for that reason. Um, Paul London, we all know about him. Uh, he had good attributes as well, so I brought him in trying to try and get some international wrestlers in, some European wrestlers in from Germany and Austria and places like that. PJ Black, we all know, is Justin Gabriel. I uh, could have him as the bunny for a laugh, but I won't. And right, let's keep going down here. Rampage Brown, we all know about him, NXT UK and um, Progress other places like that. Uh, Relic, um, I wanted to have him as the Johnny Stamboli. So um, him and, I wanted to have him and Greedo together, but neither are wanting to come out of retirement, so they'll just be road agents, I think. And like I said, Johnny Storm we already talked about. 
Justin Gable, we've already talked. Oh, sorry, I'm going the wrong way now. Da, 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 da. Um, all right, let's just keep going down here. I'm sorry if this is a bit boring. It's starting to bore me, to be honest. Uh, Ricky Marvin brought him in. Rob Terry, as we already mentioned. Robbie Brooks I've brought in as a road agent. Uh, well, Ryan Reeves, or we all know as Ryback. Uh, we've got the big guy. Uh, Sabu, we all know about him. ECW legend. Absolute nutter. Sean Maltman, we all know as X Park. He will be brought in as a road agent because I don't think he wants to wrestle. You can ask him, but I don't think he will. Nope. Uh, we'll work our way up. Tajiri, brought in Tajiri because who doesn't love Tajiri? Brought in uh, Kanemura, who's a great light heavyweight wrestler from Japan over the years. Uh, Kozlov brought Vito, who again doesn't want to wrestle. So, like I said, I was planning to have the full blooded Italians in. Uh, we've got this guy here, Vincent, we all know from Ring of Honor, recently Ring of Honor and AEW. Uh, he'll be a good addition as well, spooky character. Vampire Warrior, but we all know him as Gangrel, so loading that off. Um, he doesn't want to be a wrestler annoyingly, so probably just have to have him as a road agent. So I'm going to have loads of road agents by the looks of it. Yeah. Trevor Murdoch I brought in. Tom Lawler. DJ Wilson, who's a road agent, even though I tried to get him to come out of retirement, but he won't. Annoyingly. Would have loved to have him on the roster. Thomas Lefou, uh, Lefoufou, who I remember from um, Florida Championship Wrestling. Pretty good French wrestler. Sandman, we all know about him. Um, he'll probably be a colour commentator for me. See if he'll... No. Every single one refuses to go up, come out for another run. Uh, Tatanka, somebody else I wanted to bring in as the occasional wrestler. Won't. Wrestle, uh, at least Super Crazy will wrestle. I'm going to have Super Crazy as a road agent as well because I think he'd make a really good uh, road agent. And uh, Sunjay Dutt as well, who will who is a wrestler and a road agent and a colour commentator. So that, and then we've got Sim Sucker, Simon Grimm, um, Salad, uh, Salad, Psychedelico Jr., uh, Sean Dean, who wrestles for AW Ring of Honor. I'll just do that because I like to have them. I like to have them have photos. Sean Davari, Shannon Moore, Shane Haste, Seven Fawn, who we know is mostly as Mordecai. There you go. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, because I think I went the other way, didn't I? Yeah. So that's that. So uh, sorry if that that dragged on a bit, didn't it? Right. Let's book the next show. Okay. So we're gonna have tag team match. Um. Yeah. So this is the dream tag team invitational, but I'm not gonna do it as a tournament. I'm just gonna do random tag team matches with the wrestlers that I have available to me. Um. Or I might just do use the tag teams that we've got. Uh, we'll do mail and we'll see who we've got available. Um, just see if it's worth doing that. Probably not. I'll probably have the main event though as as um, the new element versus Scum, which I did at the last show. That was a pretty good show. Oh, there we go. We can do, we can do Generation Next versus... Um, let's have a look. Pretty deadly. There you go. That'd be a good match. 
So we've got that as a tag team match. That's that one. And then we'll do another tag team match. Um, do that one. We do. Uh, Yeah. Legion of Boom. No, I won't do that. So Brothers, Face of Fear. Contenders. We do the Contenders. Do them versus... Retro Pop, maybe? No. There we go. Lost Maquitos. Do that, and then we'll do we'll do the main event tag team. Actually, we'll do a female tag team match first. Do the Olsen twins. For some reason, this tag team is called the Woke Queens. Don't ask me why. And then we'll do a main event and then what we'll figure out we'll do some angles and then we'll figure out what we're going to do after that so we'll do joseph connor's kenny gotta be careful with that one though there's more than one kenny kenny williams versus mark andrews and morgan webster Twenty five minutes we'll put the tag titles on the line Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster retain it. We'll, um, won't do storytelling because that didn't work out. I don't think that worked out well when I did it in the other. Should do steal the show? There goes Baxter, my dog, going upstairs. Because I've uh, had to sort him out in a minute because I worry whenever he goes upstairs, he does his business up there on my bloody carpet. Right, so there's that. Right, so we just need to do some angles now. So we do Kenny Williams. Oh, for God's sake. Joseph Connors. Um, Morgan Webster. And Mark Andrews. Oh. Do that. We'll just do a random Mr. Anderson microphone just to boost that up a bit. Put that up there. Put that up there. Put that up there. Oh, God, my nose is proper bunged up all of a sudden. Um, do another angle. Uh, who's wrestling again? Contenders, Olsen Twins, Woke Queens, Generation. Okay. So we do Matt Seidel. Jack Evans. And then oh, Elton Prince. Kit Wilson. Sorry if this one's all over the place, everyone. I do apologise. Um, just getting distracted and been doing a lot of video recording today. Right, let's just. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. I can move my legs a bit now. Um. Right, so currently in the limits of the time period, we've got seventy-five percent matches, eighty-four. Sorry, so we're not penalised. Right, so that's that. Let's start the show. Um, the angle with Pretty Deadly and Generation Next Free did really well. Um, 34 rating for the angle, which isn't too bad at all. Kit Wilson could have done, uh, would have done, could have done better being on the script. Match itself got a 64 rating. Um, Matt, Jack Evans got a 64 and Matt Seidel only got 49. That's ridiculous. Alan Prince was the in ring, the best in ring performer in that match. Um, 
as a road agent, Winter probably should have done a better job putting the match together. Okay, that's good to know for future reference. So the other tag team match, which was the Contenders versus Los Mekitos. Um, the Contenders won, and that got a 57 rating. And I think that's about it, really. Who's the best in-ring performer? Kelly Six got a 76 rating. Ricky Marvin only got a 23. Super Crazy only got a 28 as well, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, the tag team match with the Owen Twins versus the Woke Queens. The Owen Twins won. Got a 65 rating. Uh, Casey Owens got a 68. Valkyrie, Valkyrie got a 66. They were the best in ring performers there. Uh, Mr. Anderson, microphone angle, got a 56, which is probably one of the best angles we've had so far. 63 for the angle with the the main event of the new element the new element versus scum. Mark Andrews could have been on script. Uh, got a 63 rate, which is really good. 80. We haven't had an 80 rated match in um since the first show when Kenny Williams. That's really good. Um Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams showed excellent chemistry together. See if the announcing was better. Um and we shortened the match a bit because of the all out pace as well. So what we do next time is still the show. We'll do it at maybe twenty two minutes. Um, we'll put a different announcer on and hopefully we can have somebody better. But 80 is still really good. Uh, Kenny Williams was on top of his game. Mark uh, Morgan Webster was just unbelievable. So was Mark Andrews. So fair play to them both. Uh, I'm going to make a speech. Kenny Williams, Mark Andrews, Morgan Webster. There you go. Happy days. I forgot to look at the rest of the show, so I didn't even know. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I should have looked at it first. I'll have a look at show history. I don't know what the attendance was. I don't know. Uh, I know we increased. I've seen the corner of my eye that we increased the... Ah, oh, I didn't even know. Yeah, I don't even know what the show... Right, there you go. Right. Show history. Where are you? Show history. There we go. So we got 107 attendance, which is the best attendance we've ever had um we got a 72 show rating which was really good uh the show achieved 0.01 tv rating we got 7301 free viewers um so yeah so we did really well there it was a really good show <laughs> sorry a uh, really good show to end the episode on we got 99 percent momentum five percent prestige um we got 204,000. So, what I'm going to do is merchandise. I'm going to up the merch again. I'm going to keep up, up with it. Right. So, we're just going to up it after every show. As long as the money's all right, we can do it because eventually it will help. Let's have a look at the finances quickly. See if, there's, if that last show made any difference. There we go. So, this month. We are minus 30 grand performance, so we are paying a lot more now. Um, so that's something we've got to be aware of. Ticket sales, 963. Broadcast revenue was 732. Sponsors, 2,198. Merchandise was 171, but this is only part of the month, so we've got a couple of weeks yet. 15 grand we spent on the workers, 3 grand for the show costs. 75 for marketing, 11 uh, uh, for production, 3 grand for media. So let's have a look at the financial estimates. Estimated sponsorship income was 9,700, sorry, 9,072 a month. Um, expenditure is 75 for production. production sorry, 6.5 for production. Your marketing miscellaneous costs are based on the size of the company. That's fine. Monthly wage bill, the figure is adding. Blah, blah. So uh, we'll have a look at that more um, later on. But right, 
Anyway, I'll be back on Sunday. Let's just quick look at this. Jack Evans. Uh, they want another wrestler with Shea Purser. Uh, maybe I'll put Blue Kane and Shea Purser together as a tag team. I think that'd be quite a funny tag team in a way. But yeah, um, I think that's what I might do actually before I forget. Do that now. I know I'll probably forget later on. Blue Kane, Shea Purser. Right, so let's have a look. There you go, Kamikaze. Should have called it Kane Akazi. I might change it to Kane Akazi. Right, on that note, I'm off. I'm sorry if it was a bit off the pace at times. Um, probably just because I'm a bit sloppy because I haven't done it in about, I haven't done it since last week. Uh, TW is a lot harder to record videos for, as you can see on this screen that you're looking at now. I need to uh, expand me. There we go. Right, there we go. Yeah, as I was saying, it's a lot harder to record and stream TW content. By the way, this is not my wall. It's not falling. It's a backdrop. Um, yeah, it's a lot harder to do content for TW 2020 because of the software they use to create the game. So it just makes it a bit more difficult to do it. But I'm getting the hang of it. Um, now I'm doing it. It's a lot better now. I figured out how to do it where I don't have to keep adding screens all the time to the software that I use to, to record. So yeah, so hopefully, like I said, we're getting there slowly but surely, progressing with Fight Club Pro. And thank you for following, thank you for subscribing, and just keep bear with us. I, I, the next episode I do will be a lot more, um, a lot better, a lot, a lot more, not all over the place. So I've just got a few personal things going on as well, so I'm a bit distracted, and I've got the dog to keep constantly watching all the time. Because he's a little bugger and he keeps chewing everything now. He's going through that teenager stage already. So anyway, thank you as always. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be back Sunday. Bye.